Thomas, thank you for taking a few minutes with me. Um, mm -hmm. You're off a panel session here. We're in Nice. Um, you're a CIO, but where I'd like to start is the customer experience and, mm -hmm. and what you're doing in Volvo through your own role to enable that customer experience. Absolutely, and it's a great pleasure being here at NIS and having the opportunity to speak at the panel as well as providing other insights through the sessions. And I think it's an excellent point to start actually at the customer experience. Because now being in Volvo and being in the automotive sector is actually a fantastic industry where a lot of changes and improvements now are happening. And everything we do with technology is important actually, in, especially in an automotive company. But for us in Volvo, it always starts with the customer experience. So that is relevant when it comes, for example, to digital marketing, how things are being sold today, both the product as well as services. Naturally, the ownership cycle, how you service a vehicle, how you take care of it and how you use it and experience it after it has been sold. So that whole customer journey now actually requires an automotive company to work in a different way. Than previously. And in, in the middle of it you have, uh, and I, I tend to think of the digital bit related to cars as the connected car. Mm. So you, you've got this full, very interesting, this full expansion into the start of the web experience, I guess, uh, with the digital cars then in the middle. Absolutely. It becomes like for us, we put basically the, the connected and the digital customer in the center. Okay. And, and actually then with the digital customer and the connected customer in the center, then you naturally have, you, you have the experience around how you search for a vehicle, how you use a vehicle, how you purchase it, how you own it, and also how you, which type of features you would like to have in your vehicle. So that becomes basically the whole digital ecosystem around the customer. And naturally, we are also then expanding that digital ecosystem with other partners in the, uh, in the ecosystem, for example, around insurance, financing, and also repair shops and, and accessories connected to the life cycle of, uh, of the product. And also for us in Volvo, it has been very important to drive innovation around the connected customer. For example, in, in capabilities like using digital keys or actually providing additional benefits around for example, areas like connected safety. So those are also aspects where we see that the new digital and connected world actually has a big impact also in the automotive sector. Just drilling down another level, what do you view as the most exciting or the, uh, the, the digital component that's going to give the most growth to Volvo and excite the customer the most over the next five years? It's, it's actually the convenience aspect around what a connected customer and a connected car can do for you as an individual. That can relate to saving time, for example, as we have innovated around using digital keys for e-business shipments to be delivered directly to the vehicle. Uh, it has also been, for example, around uh, autonomous cars and autonomous driving capabilities that are being implemented, partly enabled through digitalization and cloud capabilities. Those are two concrete examples where convenience is actually the driver and of course you use a lot of technology in enabling it. And, and here in Nice, you, you've, you've come to Nice and Nice is about um, a collaboration of in fact lots of industries and mm. their digital requirements. How, do, how does that play into Volvo? Now what, what we see happening now today in the automotive industry and also in Volvo is actually uh, a cross industry collaboration that is growing exponentially. That is one of the reasons for me being here in uh, NIS at the TM Forum uh, and in our collaboration also with partners like for example Ericsson. There we see that we, both of us, are, are being very beneficial around collaboration between industries. We also see an aspect about how the consumer is expect convergence between industries and that is also for us, being customer-centric, why it is important to be here at these type of events uh, like TM Forum here in Nice. And, and your background, in fact, isn't from the car industry? No, I, actually I, I have a background from other industries like uh, medical industry and also consumer goods and also consulting background. And then I've been for the past close to five years as Group CIO in Volvo Cars. And that also shows now how the industry convergence is being perceived as very important, also in the automotive world. Oh, massively exciting industry over the next 10 years. Today, uh, well, already today, I feel that the automotive industry is most likely one of the best industries to have the role as Group CIO in. Okay, well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.